It's a technical company. Uh, it's basically an engineering company. Well, it's um, what we call ourselves. We are a design company. Gusto MSC is an independent design and engineering company. We, we don't have any competitor that operates in, in, in all, the, all the technical solutions that we have. 1862. AF Smulders sets up a machine factory and iron foundry in Sertogenbos. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I heard of, of Mr. Smulders. Yes. I know, it's a shipyard. It was uh, one harbor uh, closer to Rotterdam from here. It's, it's a nice story to tell to clients. Well, it started as an engine factory or something, I, I believe, but I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. 1905. Later, Smulders starts his own shipyard, and in 1905 he moves his operation to Schiedam. This is where the name Gusto Shipyard is used for the first time. That is when shipbuilding started here. That is when special products were developed by, by the Smulders uh, Gusto Shipyard. And that is, that is where our true origin is, uh, I would say. Yeah. 1959. The first European jack-up drilling platform named Seashell is delivered for the Shell Group, containing features that brought the platform ahead of the competition and allows operations in the harsh North Sea environment. Gusto Shipyard becomes the first company outside the USA to design and build jackups. Very important milestone, 1959. And, uh, those are the very early days of, uh, of the offshore industry. 1959 uh, is really the, 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 the birth of the business that we are in now, because then, at that point in time. Those are the days that, uh, that the Smulders family with the Gusto Yard uh, started uh, the, the pioneering in the, in the offshore industry. 1972. The Pelican is the first dynamically positioned drill ship in the world and is designed and built by the Gusto Shipyard. It also is the starting point of a very successful series. 1978. Gusto Shipyard is succeeded by Gusto Engineering and MSC. Its designs are now built by shipyards worldwide and continue to set new standards in offshore mobile units. Yeah, and in, in 1978 the, the Gusto Yard uh, had to close here in Schiedam. 77 and 78 is when, uh, when um, MSE and uh, a year later Gusto Engineering was formed out of the shipyard which was closed. Quite sad years. Um, on the other hand it was uh, the start of the MSC company around those days. It was the start of uh, Gusto Engineering, so basically also start of, of our existence without fabrication facilities. 1980. The conception of the successful cantilever drilling jackup series, of which the first drilling jackup was the Divey Epsilon. Many CJ units have followed since then. 1988. IHC Kalant completes the repurchases of all Gusto Engineering and MSC shares. Something they started out in 1983. A sensational delivery is the Semi-1, the first semi-submersible designed by MSC. 2002. Gusto Engineering and MSC start a marketing alliance and both continue to deliver many successful units like the Kraken, the first NG2500X, Maersk Explorer, the first DSS semi-submersible and Glomer CR. 2011. Both companies fully merge into Gusto MSC, concentrating on providing designs and associated equipment for the global offshore market. Sea Installer, a jackup vessel specially designed for the offshore wind industry, was the first project of Gusto MSC in its present capacity. The newly developed continuous hydraulic jacking system on the NG9000 provides fast jacking and robustness for frequent operations. For me it was a really small step to go from Gusto to Gusto MSC because the way of working is more or less the same. Of course we use different tools, we use a different, uh, different template of a report, a different system to do, but in the end the way how you approach a design is more or less the same. So for me it's a small step. And an, another important uh, milestone for me at least is uh, when we finally managed to combine Gusto and uh, MSC. This environment will definitely stimulate cooperation. I'm indebted after only a couple of days. 2015. 
Gusto MSC moves to a new office location and continues as an independent, world-renowned and leading design and engineering company for the offshore oil and gas market and the upcoming market for offshore renewable energy. I think this building is, is also a, a milestone. Uh, I think it uh, invites people to cooperate. That is, I think, something that we needed. When we get used to the building, I think it will be um, a good and pleasant environment to, uh, to work, uh, work as teams on, uh, on these designs.